along the coast of Biscayne lies one of the most important and unique forests in the entire world. They're filled with mangroves, trees that grow in coastal areas and tropical and subtropical areas. These trees provide a home for birds, mammals, reptiles, and of course, fish. Oh, why are they so salty? Sorry, how are they able to grow in such a saline environment? Don't ask me. I don't know how a whole forest of trees can grow in the ocean. Let's ask someone who does. Dr. Lola Fatanyinbo is an environmental scientist who studies mangroves around the world. She can tell us how these trees are able to grow in salt water and what they do for other species. Hi, my name is Dr. Lola Fatanyinbo and I'm an environmental scientist who studies mangroves. So mangroves are trees that grow in coastal zones, in the intertidal zone in tropical and subtropical regions worldwide. Mangroves have this really amazing ability, which is that they are able to grow in water, and not only in fresh water, but they're actually able to grow in salt water, so they can grow in coastal areas. And they're able to do that because they're really adapted to the environment that they're growing in. They have these amazing prop roots or aerial roots that basically stabilize them in like really wet soil. One of the species, the black mangrove, is able to essentially excrete the salt right back out of its leaves. So when you walk by a leaf, sometimes you see some salt on them. And one of the other species, the red mangrove, is actually able to filter out the water before it goes into the stem. The most iconic thing when you look at a mangrove is that they have these really, really big roots. You have some roots that are prop roots, so roots that look like props essentially that hold them up. And then you have some other species that have what we call pneumatophores. They're like snorkels, essentially tiny little pencils coming out of the sand or out of the water. Mangroves provide habitat for many, many types of animals, both aquatic and terrestrial. And you can find mammals as well. Depending on where you are on the planet, you have some really, really iconic animals that live in mangrove ecosystems. Mangroves aren't just good for birds and fish, they're also important for us humans as well. The roots of the mangroves can really take a beating from the waves, which is important because it protects coastlines from erosion. These root systems also trap mud and sand as the tide rolls in. Mangroves basically build their own islands, which, while extremely cool, also protects coastline buildings and structures. Mangroves provide a lot of what we call ecosystem services to humans. They are able to protect the shoreline from erosion. They protect areas that are behind them from a lot of the strong winds and waves that come from the ocean. They essentially act as a buffer. They're also really important as trees that are able to protect us from climate change. They are able to absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and they store it in their trunks, but they're also able to store a lot of carbon in the soil because they grow in these aquatic areas. And so mangroves are what we call really, really important carbon stocks. So they keep a lot of carbon in the trees and in the soil and keep it from going into the atmosphere. Thanks, mangroves. Sadly, many of our mangrove forests in the U.S. have been lost due to human development. It's nice to have a room with a view, but it's even nicer when said room doesn't fall into the ocean because the coastline has eroded away. Good news is there are groups that are working to restore mangrove habitat. The Fabian Cousteau Ocean Learning Center has planted more than 35,000 mangroves in Florida alone. They do a bunch of cool restoration projects. See how you can support groups like this or how you can restore habitat where you live. Yeah. Want to learn more about our national parks? Then hit that subscribe button, friend. Stay up to date and catch bonus features by following us on Instagram, at Outsider.